Hey guys, I hope you're all well and I hope you all have a fantastic September. So this reading is going to be for a divine soulmate connections, could be twin flames, divine counterparts. And yeah, we're going to be looking into the masculine's energy, what is going on with them, as well as the feminine's energy, as well as what seems to be coming up. Um, it is going to be general, as always, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you want a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Um, feel free to email me if you are interested in cord cutting sessions. And I think that is it. Oh, just a little heads up real quick. Um, I am finally going on a trip next week um, for, for a week. So I might not be able to get the, the reading out next Sunday, which would be the ones for um, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, um, and Karmic Situation. But I will do my best to get it out in the week if that does happen. Um, <laughs> although I do have a whole bunch of personal readings and a couple of cord cuttings that week as soon as I get back. So we'll see. I will do the best I can to get it out on Sunday, next Sunday, regardless. But just in case. I might post a picture for you guys as well from where I will be. And alright, with all of that said, let's get into the reading. Let's see what is going on with the masculines. What do we currently need to know? And we have, ooh, Magician in the Mirror. Okay, so this is similar to the Magician from traditional tarot. So there's definitely something in the works here. There is definitely something that is happening. I do get the sense that it's happening kind of like in secret or in the background for a lot of you. And this is also, I actually feel like this time when I'm seeing this card, there's something also happening for the feminines here. I feel like something that you are working on or something that you have achieved within yourself is actually being reflected back to the masculine and is therefore making it, um, it's facilitating them in whatever it is that they need to do for their journey. Let's see what else. Chaos. All right. Okay. So even though things are happening in the background um, and things are being manifested in whatever way, it's happening in a very chaotic way. Um, so this is not necessarily bad, although it definitely can feel extremely intense, um, especially for the masculines here. So it could even be that there was something that was chaotic for you if you're a feminine watching this, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like whatever it is that you were working on and whatever it is that you're achieving, um, like I said, it's being reflected back to the masculine, but for them, it's bringing it up in a way where it's creating some kind of a crisis, some kind of a chaos, but it's a chaos that needs to happen. Um, so there's a lot going on for them right now. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's like the storm comes in order to clear up whatever needed to be cleared up. So that's, that's what's happening here. Let me just get a few more from this deck and then we'll get into the tarot. I do get that there could be a lot of triggers right now also for the masculines and that it's like that needs to happen. It's like it's coming in from the divine, from the sky um, to push them to become this magician. And I actually feel like some of these masculines, they need to create this, this chaos as magicians, right? Like that's what they need to bring into their life right now in order to make a major, major shift. Okay, so here we have ooh, deception, observer, and numbing. Why do I feel like we keep getting this message? Um, that there is something that is deceptive in their life. And again, I'm gonna say the same thing as I said the other time. Um, there is, this deception is either from other people or from another situation, like maybe a job that has been holding them back and that could be the deception um, or or another person. And then for others of them, it's, it's their own self, right? That they have been deceiving their own self as well as this connection. Now, whatever the deception is for each of them, all right, because it's going to be different, this is something that they are actually witnessing, like they are actually seeing this. And I do also get that they're trying to, there's a part of them trying to numb it out. 
Um, so a lot of them might actually be um, indulging, you know, in, in whatever, whatever kind of a distraction each of them might indulge in, um, whether it be like video games um, or just, you know, diving too heavily into work. Um, there is some numbing that is happening here and I feel like that's because it's difficult to fully process something that is that has been so deceptive um, for such a long time and you know like they've been oblivious to this in whatever way so they're seeing that and I feel like they're what they're also seeing is that they have been numbing it out all this time um, so this would make sense as to why there is so much chaos and that they're actually like bringing about chaos in their life I actually feel like they're the ones bringing about the chaos it's not whatever outside energy with the deception is about or anything else it's actually the masculine him or herself bringing about this chaos and they need to do that they need to do that um so yeah let's let's get into the tarot let's see if we can get some more information on this as well as what they're thinking or feeling about their feminines. Okay, so what else do we need to know here about the masculine, just overall? have the king of cups which actually landed upright and then it flipped over into reverse um, and then we have the queen of swords in reverse and we have the knight of pentacles yeah so there's something in their life i'm getting here that you know may have appeared to be you know what they wanted or that they thought was fulfilling to them um yeah not anymore not anymore and again that would explain this chaos there's something here that they're feeling like they're just not aligned with that. And so because of that, and because they're bringing about this chaos, at the moment, th th this masculine is very, very emotional or um, very emotionally unstable. So there, if you are in contact with them in any way, um, there could be a lot of fluctuations in their emotions or they might be, they might come off as being overly emotional. And that's because they're facing some very harsh truths here concerning deception and possibly their own deceptions or other people's deceptions that they actually like, you know, um, gave into or like were, um, uh, you know, just influenced by, they allowed themselves to be dragged into it in whatever way or they were, they were, they were fooled by it. Um, I do see them, <clears throat> There's, there's this strange energy about them, though. Um, I, like I said, I do feel like they're seeing it. But then, on the other hand, it's like... I feel like for a lot of them, they still don't know what to make of it just yet. And that's because they're still in the middle of the storm. Like, they're still in the middle of that chaos. Um, however, it is gradually smoothing out. It's gradually smoothing out with that Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like, you know, they, it's almost like they have a plan in mind, but I feel like they're not, they're just not very clear about that plan just yet about whatever this is. So, you know, in the past, maybe they did have a clear plan and it didn't work. Well, now the fact that they have a plan that they're not so clear about, it actually might even be more realistic to just kind of go with the flow. Um, or to just have like a, a loose plan, something like that. All right, let's see. What else? Let's see their energy towards their feminines. Let's see, what are they thinking? Or what is their general energy towards their feminines currently? Okay, so we have um, a justice who landed sideways, and then we have the six of wands in reverse and the three of pentacles.
So they're feeling like something here is unresolved with the with the feminines, and I and I do get the sense that this is them. That's why it was sideways. Feeling like there's something left hanging that needs to either be corrected or that needs to be balanced or it's just like this lurking essence right that they have hanging above them and they for some of them i get that maybe a part of this deception for some of them was that everything is fine and that everything um was balanced and that you know they were fair and then now they're seeing that no like that that was not with the six of wands being in reverse like that was not successful So that for some of them, that could definitely be, you know, what this deception is about. And of course, you know, it doesn't have to be that for others. It's going to be something completely different. I do get it, though here with this three of pentacles that there is some kind of. Um, so what I'm getting with this is that the masculine is actually seeing the things from the feminine's perspective. And I feel like that's why. Um, they're now seeing that something was more unfair than they had initially thought or that something is not as resolved as they thought it was. Um, something along those lines. And it does make sense with what I was saying with the magician in the mirror, that something is being reflected back to them that you are doing. And so it's like because there's this like connection in your energies at the moment, I feel like, you know, in the 5D right now, masculines and feminines are very, very much connected. So it's like suddenly they're just able to see things from your perspective more so than they had in the past. So I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if some of these masculines have reached out if you were in if you were in no communication. Um, even if it was just, you know, friendly. So definitely let me know if that is the case for you in the comments. All right, let's see. Let's see what they're thinking. Page of Swords in reverse. The Five of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Wands. they're definitely thinking that they don't want conflict with you. Um, so I don't know for some of you if there has maybe whatever it is that they're feeling like they thought was resolved, but it's not. If, if, if you had gotten off on a bad note or if you were like on some kind of a shaky note or something was just off, they're wanting, they're wanting something to be resolved, plain and simple. Um, I'm getting that they're even seeing themselves as this page of swords because again, they're able to see things from the feminine's perspective right now. It's like they're looking through your eyes. And so they're seeing themselves the way that you see them. So yes, there might be a lot of positive aspects that you see about your masculine as well, but I feel like at the moment, um, here at least, they're seeing the negative aspect of it. Like they're seeing possibly, you know, where it is that they have been um, off or misaligned in terms of communication specifically. So maybe there was an argument or some kind of a disagreement or just tension in the energies between the two of you. So I feel like with this Ace of Wands, it's like this thinking about next time around things being different or making things different. Like I said, feeling like something needs to be resolved. Let's see what's going on emotionally. and the nine of swords okay so a lot of stress a lot of disappointment some depression here um a lot of anxiety with the divine feminine being right smack in the middle of that so yes in their emotions right now um not feeling too good i feel like for a lot of them they're feeling like you know they've either lost you or that or that they're at a risk of losing you and 
feeling like, you know, they haven't resolved whatever it is that needed to be resolved. They haven't brought into balance whatever it is that needed to be brought into balance. Um, so there's a lot of stressing over what you might be doing or what you're currently doing um, or how you're currently feeling about them. And like I said, they're seeing through your eyes. So they're seeing how you're seeing them. But of course, it doesn't mean that they are sure about that, right? Because it's not like they are consciously aware of that. Like to them, these are just assumptions. Um, so in their minds are like, okay, like that's just what I think that the feminine thinks of me. But I, I feel like for a lot of them, it's actually pretty accurate right now. They they just don't know that. Um, so yeah, this is creating some a lot of emotional <laughs> turmoil here, which like I said, with that King of Cups being in reverse as their very first card, there's a lot of chaos right now. Um, and I feel like a lot of this chaos, I mean, really, it's just because like they're having this like sudden awareness of how they have treated the feminine or what it is that the feminine might be feeling or the pain that they have caused to the to the feminine so a lot of empathy um is basically what it is empathy and just really seeing through seeing through the situation seeing through their own behaviors and, and it's like seeing it through the feminine's eyes basically that's what it is okay so um I'm actually not going to clarify because I do have to try to keep this this one a little bit shorter because I have like a billion things to do to prepare for the trip. Um, I'm actually going to Crete. For those of you that might know, it's an island. So, very, very excited. All right, let's see, for the feminines. What wants to come through for the feminines, please? As soon as I start pulling cards for the feminines, um, there are fireworks. Fireworks just started happening outside. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but if you can, that's what that is. All right, so for the feminines, we have the thinking woman. Give me a sec, let me just get a couple more. Individuality. Nice. I feel like basically, um, actually, okay, let me not speak too soon. Let me just get the rest of them. All right, shadow work, patience, and tribe. Actually, I feel like tribe is in the middle. All right. Okay, feminines, um, there's a lot that's going on for you as well. And I actually feel like what this is about is you actually, um, give me a sec, I need to find the words to translate this message. Um, whatever events are happening for you in your life right now, and maybe they're not even events, maybe they're just feelings that are coming up, so maybe they're just internal events it's like you feel like you're about to get triggered, but then I feel like you don't. Um, and I feel like this is a similar message where I think it was a couple of readings ago I said that um, the feminines are overcoming their triggers more easily. So it's something like that. And then it's also like you just really finding this balance, like things happening where um, it, it like, it's like they have these things have the potential to throw you off but but they don't and so I, i'm getting that you know for a lot of you i feel like you have really detached from your masculine um emotionally or at least in terms of pain so this is why we have the individuality card like you're becoming more independent and i feel like you know you're really tapping into your divine feminine energy here you're thinking very intuitively but also very rationally at the same time and certain things that before may have affected you in a different way or you may have reacted to them in a different way especially if you were in contact with your masculine like now your reactions are different so i feel like for a lot of you this is also about um setting boundaries right with that individuality card 
setting some kind of new boundaries, even if you're not in contact with them, right? It could just be on an energetic level in the way that you are thinking about things. So here it's like, yeah, the reason why this is happening is because you've done a lot of shadow work or you're doing a lot of shadow work, which means you're actually acknowledging, you know, the aspects of yourself that needed to be healed or that needed to be tweaked or that needed to be adjusted for your own well-being, like just discovering parts of yourself and integrating them. And so this is like just coming in and <laughs> it's like there's this this part of you where it's like you've really learned patience, but that patience doesn't mean waiting. Because if you're actively waiting, you're not being patient. Um, it's like if you're waiting because you have no other choice but to wait, that's not being patient. Patience is when you're totally okay with it and when you are you are actively choosing patience, not for your masculine, not for when the masculine is going to come in, but for your own self and for whatever is meant for you and for however things are meant to unfold. So yeah, I feel like this is actually very, very positive um, for the feminines and so this just leads me back to what I said in the very beginning that because of something you have done, this shadow work that you are doing, and so you are seeing yourself more clearly and seeing who you truly are and finding your individuality, right? That's affecting the masculine, that magician in the mirror, and it's helping them energetically to do whatever it is that they need to do as well as to see them, their own self more clearly as well and the situation. And so then comes the chaos because they're realizing things that, you know, don't make them feel too good about things that have happened or where they are right now. And that's not to say that the feminine has been perfect, right? Um, there is also this concept of, you know, sometimes it's the feminine has work to do as well before, you know, um, the energies can be aligned in order for union to take place. So it's not just the masculine. We can't just always blame the masculine. It's not how it is. So with all of that said, let me just get a couple of tarot cards for the feminine, just anything else that wants to come through, and then we'll see what is coming up in the next week or so. you have the page of swords in reverse as well. <clears throat> so page of swords in reverse, the two of wands and the five of pentacles in reverse. Um, so yeah, like I feel like this is actually, you know, you also seeing within your own self where it is that you may have been a little bit, um, I want to say misguided, but it's not just misguided. It's not exactly misguided. It's, you know, where is it that maybe you were not seeing things clearly? Where is it that, you know, you were not observing something possibly within your own self. What is it that you are not seeing within your own self? And for some of you, you know, <clears throat> actually for everyone, there's always something new to discover about our own selves. There's always something that we might not be seeing because it's so hard to <clears throat> look at ourselves and find these deep aspects of ourselves and see them objectively. That's hard to do. So that's always like an ongoing process. But like I said, you've done a lot of that and that's why the masculine is also doing that and seeing these things within their own self. So you're just being encouraged here to just, <clears throat> you know, keep discovering things about your own self. Um, that's number one. And number two, like, I feel like you're just not obsessed anymore, right? Um, and if you are, I mean, that's totally okay. Take this as encouragement. You know, this could be, you know, the energy that is coming up for you. I do get that you are at this point where you're just kind of like I'm getting this waiting energy with the two of wands, but like I said, it's it's with, with genuine patience. It's not um, it's not an obsessive kind of waiting, right? It's it's we have the tribe card as well, so it's like knowing that you are patient for whatever it is that is meant for you for your for your tribe, and that when when it's meant to be, it, it's meant to be. And it's not a specific date. It's when energy is aligned. And there's always something we can do about that to a certain extent. So 
you're not obsessing, Five of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like, you know, if there are any feelings of abandonment or rejection, you're overcoming those. And you're just, you know, um, sitting in your individuality, <laughs> basically. Okay, so let's see what is coming up for the masculines here in the next week or so. have the hanged man in reverse the set the i don't know why i just said seven so maybe seven means something to somebody it's this it's the star um and the ten of wands okay so the masculines are i feel like they're moving out of some kind of like a bubble that they have been in or in some kind of a something that they have been in um it's like they're taking some kind of a guidance here um from their intuition from their higher self from spirit from the divine especially concerning releasing something that they have been carrying for a long time, whatever that is, and whether that is the deception, for example. I do see that it's this chaos. It's going to get to the point where where it's going to exhaust them um, because I, I feel like that's actually what the, the bubble that they're in is, is like this bubble and then it's the chaos in there and they're like in it. Um, yeah, they're going to exhaust that before coming out of it. But they are coming out of it because we have the star here. Um, so yeah, I know that wasn't very specific, but that's that's what it is. The specifics are going to be different for each of you. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like they're just sitting in that chaos at the moment. And like I said, that's okay. That's something that needs to be done. It is going to exhaust them. Okay, so let's close this out with a final oracle message. And we have round and round. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm totally getting that's the chaos. It's like that, what is that? Like a tornado, right? Going around and around. That's exactly what is going on with the masculines right now. Um, they're in that bubble and they're going around and around and around in it, but there's, it's like there's an eye. There's an eye in the middle of the tornado, right? And it's, I feel like I can see it here as well. Um, so because of this storm, because of this round and round chaos, it's like a swirling in their minds, which is also why they, they're trying to numb, um, <laughs> numb out of this, but it's because of that chaos that they are able to see what is ha really happening here. So yeah, that is it. I'm leaving it at that. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon. Much love.